Is your mutt team looking sorry? I got you covered. Go to my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable coins around and use code Juju for 5% off at checkout. So you the little nigga in that brand, huh? Hand busting off top, just to show them you ain't scared, huh? Keep two out riders by your band, huh? Yo, what's going on, y'all? And welcome back to another one. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I would greatly appreciate it if you could smack that sub button for me takes about half a second and it really helps me out helps me grow and get pushed out to more people but today i am so hyped the first episode of our packer theme team and those of you who follow me or sub to me just for the rams don't worry i'm still gonna be keeping up with that i'm just gonna be having two theme teams but i am originally from wisconsin i moved to vegas but i was born and raised in wisconsin i am a diehard packers fan my whole family is too so it was only right. I had to bring out the Packer theme team. I think it's just gonna be super dope, kind of broaden my channel. But yeah, man, I'm not gonna waste too much time. We're gonna get right into this team right here. Starting off the QB, we got Aaron Rodgers, the GOAT, and Jordan Love, who I personally really like. I was like the only Packer fan, I think, who didn't hate the pick. But yeah, looking at Aaron Rodgers' stats right here, he's rocking 72 speed, 91 throw power, 82 short, 81 mid. 84 deep, 83 throw under pressure, 82 on the run, and 81 play action. Solid numbers for sure. Definitely doesn't do him justice. Like, name a quarterback, I'm gonna name one better. Hint, it's Aaron Rodgers. So, I mean, yeah, he definitely needs an upgrade soon. He should have got a team of the week. Then at running back, we got Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones, and AJ Dillon right here, who I'm super hyped about. I think he's about to be a beast, but yeah, looking at Aaron Jones right here. He's solid for sure. 86 speed, it's usable. 88 Excel, 88 agility, pretty nice. 84 carry, 85 change of direction. 76 truck, 77 break tackle. I mean, that 66 catch really pisses me off. Like, watch some film, EA. Dude was a dog in the passing game last year. Definitely deserves higher catching and actually just a higher card. But I mean, we'll see. It's gonna be an MVP discussions with Rodgers, so he'll probably get that upgrade. Then at wide receiver, we got Mark Clayton, Marquez, Valdez, Scantling. Don't even want to say Devin Funch's name because his whole ass left out of the season, decided not to play. But yeah, then we got Alan Lazard, who I really fuck with. Think he's gonna do big things, developing our number two receiver. And obviously, we got that boy Devontae Adams. I love him. Looking at his speed right here on his new card. Or his stats, I should say. He's got 89 speed, 92 jump, 92 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 87 spec, 91 short, 89 mid, and an 86 deep. This card is a beast, man. I love Devontae Adams so much. I remember his first few seasons, all the Packers fans were like, cut him, this dude sucks. I loved him. I've been watching him since back when he was at, Fres or at Fresno State with Derek Carr. So yeah, I really, I love Devontae. He's one of my favorite players. Then on the other side, we got Mark Clayton right here, who I honestly, I'm not even gonna cap, I didn't even know he played for the Packers. But yeah, it's super dope, gives us another weapon. He's super nice too, 91 speed, 92 jump, 89 catch, 84 catch in traffic, 91 spec, 84 short, 88 mid, and a, eight, or a 91 deep. Super fast and agile, should be a really nice card. He's a little short at 5'9", but I don't know, he's doable. But I mean, yeah, the weapons this year are looking a lot better than last year's Packer theme team already. If we can get a Randall Cobb upgrade, hopefully he'll get a power up so we can get Packer Cam. That'd be dope. Donald Driver should get a legend. And then with all these new players are adding to the game, dude, like if they give me a Jordy Nelson, I will cry. Like I will break down in tears and cry. 
Love Jordy Nelson. Also a running back, dude. If we got like a Ryan Grant or a James Starks, oh, that would be so hot. Then on the O-line, we got David Bakhtiari, Elkton Jenkins, Corey Lindsley, uh, Jari Evans at right guard, and then Brian Bulaga, who just went to the Chargers, sadly. Tight end, we got your Michael Finley. I love him. Mercedes or Mercedes Lewis back there, Jay Sternberger. I'm so hyped that your Michael Finley's back in the game. If he didn't have that neck injury, man, he could have been goaded for real. He was a goon. But yeah, 85 speed, 88 catch, 91 catch in traffic, 92 spec, 89 short route running, 91 mid with a 69 run block. Hands down, best tight end in the game right now. If you think otherwise, get some help. Tony G, Heath Miller, I don't care. They don't come close to Jermichael Finley. Mans is a goon, and I can say that with confidence. But then looking at the chems right here, I don't have abilities on yet. We will get to that. But we got 52 or 51 out of 50 Packers. We will have 52 soon. And then 25 uh, out of 50 go deep. Getting that plus three throw power. But hopping right into the defense here at free safety. We got Micah Hyde and Darnell Savage. I got to show his stats real quick. At a 78 overall, Mans has 91 speed and 89 excel. Don't look at the rest of the stats. They're horrible. And I'm probably going to use them. I'm thinking about just putting them down in the box in like 335. I mean, 91 speed, dude, that's nuts. Budget beast for sure. Then at linebacker here, we got Preston Smith, Tim Williams back, Tim Williams backing him up. My bad. The free agent pickup, Christian Kirksey, Blake Martinez, who left us. Ty Summers and Oren Burks, solid middle linebackers. Then we got Zadarius Smith, the other Smith, bro. Love him. We're going to look at his stats right here, actually. So he's got 76 speed, 79 XL, my bad, 80 or 78 strength. I'm like having a huge stroke right now. It's awesome. Then 85 tackle, 90 play rec, 89 power move, 74 block shed, 79 finesse. I mean, it doesn't do him justice. The power move does, but I don't know. Mans was an animal last year. He's coming for it again. He'll get some good upgrades this year, 100%. Then over here, we got the other Smith bro, Preston Smith. Another really nice card right here. 81 speed, 87 excel, 78 strength, 84 tackle, 88 play rec, 88 power move. The finesse and block shed's a little low, but... He'll be a good pass rusher for sure. Love Preston Smith, man. The, the Smith bros, oh, they just, they get me so hyped in game, man. I love them so much. Best pickups we've had in a while. Then it's strong safety. We got Adrian Amos. There is a backup I can get too. He's just been super overpriced on the auction house for no reason. Then cornerbacks can see we got Jair right there. Kevin King was either getting a pick or getting burnt deep for six. Super dope. Then we got Casey Hayward. Josh Jackson back there, who's been a kind of a bust, not going to lie. But taking a look at Casey Hayward right here, I miss him, man. I used to love him. I had a signed jersey by him, actually. But he's rocking 85 speed, 86 excel, 85 agility. So, I mean, he's not that fast. Definitely can't press with him too much. Coverage stats, they're solid. You saw 86 zone, 82 man right there. Just a really average card. Doesn't do anything crazy good. Then on the other side, we got my man, Jair Alexander. I love him. Top three of my favorite players on the Packers for sure. I don't know. They did him really bogus with these stats. I mean, he's fast. He's got 89 speed, 89 excel, 88 agility. But 75 man dog, 83 zone. Watch some film. Name a receiver who he is not locking up pisses me off EA he should have got a team of the week upgrade too like he went crazy this week but no nah, they don't give a fuck they wanted to change up the whole promo for no reason but then looking at the d-line here we're solid we got dean lowry kenny clark Rashawn gary playing out of position and we also got mike daniels at dt2 who used to play for us looking at kenny clark right here though super solid he's got that blazing 65 speed so i'm gonna just put him in a spy when i play lamar probably gonna work out pretty good for me that 85 block shed solid 82 power move 89 strength just a really average card doesn't really pop off on anything like pop out i mean but, i mean yeah, he'll get the job done he'll be solid in the run game for sure 
Then on at left end right here, we got Dean Lowry. Well, I don't know why he got our team builder card, but I mean, whatever. I'll take it, I guess. He's rocking 75 speed, 83 excel, 84 strength, 91 tackle, 85 play rec, 79 block shed, 81 power move, and a whopping 67 finesse. Another just really average card. Doesn't really flash you with anything. Just going to get the job done. Then we got 16 out of 20 balance D. I mean, yeah, this defense is nowhere near as good as the Rams. The whole team isn't actually. Well, the offense is better than the Rams, but kind of wish I could just combine them. But I got these on separate accounts. Then special teams, we got J.K. Scott, Mason Crosby. Then specialists, I mean, you can check it out here. Not going to really get into it too deep. We do got Tay over here at slot. I mean, yeah, nothing crazy right there. And then right here, we got all the gold coaches to get the extra cams. Yeah, you can see that right there. I do have go deep on Matt, or on Matt LaFleur just to get that to 25. But that's going to do it for today's video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, drop a like, drop a sub, and hit me in the comments down below. Just say what up. Tell me how your day is going, whatever. But yeah, 15 likes. I will be dropping the gameplay tomorrow. I couldn't fit it into this video. I wanted to showcase the team first before we hop into a game. But yeah, man, 15 likes. I will be out tomorrow. If not, it'll be in the next few days. But that's about it. I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one. Peace out.